This is an original glass Coca-Cola bottle. And did you know, nearly 94% of the global population can recognize it as a Coke bottle, just because of its unique shape. Behind the glass bottles we often use every day is a story about history, about the secrets that helped Coca-Cola become as successful as it is today. Join Captain Discovery to find out how Coca-Cola glass bottles are produced and to dig deeper into the interesting secrets behind the design of this bottle and the production line. Before adopting its distinctive current design, Coca-Cola was initially bottled in simple glass containers with long straight sides, typically brown or clear, a rather mundane aesthetic. In 1915, for seeking a unique and easily recognizable bottle design and facing copyright concerns, Coca-Cola organized a nationwide bottle design competition, offering a prize of $500, equivalent to $15,500 today. Coca-Cola's criteria were straightforward, a bottle so distinct that it would be recognized if by feel in the dark or lying broken on the ground. Ten glass manufacturing companies from across the United States participated, with a winning design coming from the Root Glass Company based in Indiana. Their creation, the iconic contour glass bottle, remains in use today, more than a century after its inception. The key ingredient is sand, rich in silicon dioxide, silica, the main component of glass. Other essential ingredients include limestone, which provides calcium carbonate for stability, and soda ash that helps lower the melting temperature. Recycled glass cullet is also added to the mix, promoting sustainability and clarity of the glass. The prepared mixture is fed into a furnace reaching temperatures exceeding 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This intense heat transforms the solid ingredients into a molten liquid, resembling a thick glowing lava. It's within this fiery furnace that the journey of the Coca-Cola glass bottle truly begins. Once the glass reaches a molten state, it's ready for shaping. Sharp steel blades cut through the molten glass, dividing it into uniform masses. These masses are then meticulously deposited into molds below, which require precise timing and accuracy. Initially, the glass is shaped in the first mold, forming the distinctive bottom of the bottle, a critical step ensuring the bottle's stability and structural soundness. Now, we come to the most artistic and visually stunning phase. Following the initial shaping, the molten glass is carefully moved to the secondary mold. Then it's time for glass blowing. Machines carefully shape it into the final bottle form, making sure that every detail is meticulously crafted to capture the iconic contours of the Coca-Cola glass bottle. Once the shaping is complete, glass bottles undergo a critical heat treatment process known as annealing. During annealing, all bottles are slowly cooled within a carefully controlled environment. Despite the term cooling, temperatures remain relatively high, around 850 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. This phase is crucial in determining the quality of Coca-Cola glass bottles. It serves to minimize internal stress, ensuring the bottle can withstand mechanical forces during handling or temperature fluctuations without damage. Additionally, given its purpose of containing Coca-Cola, a highly acidic beverage, the glass must also endure pressures of carbonation from within.
The last stage of the manufacturing process involves inspecting the glass bottles to ensure they adhere to the quality control guidelines. Any bottles displaying bubbles or deformities in any area will be rejected and broken into pieces. Bottles that meet the standards will be transported to the Coca-Cola factory to be filled and sealed, beginning the process of creating Coca-Cola glass bottles. As reported by Recycling Today, Coca-Cola aims to incorporate approximately 50% recycled glass into their glass bottle products by 2030, a significant increase from the current level of 5%. With the objective of recycling up to 700,000 glass bottles annually, Coca-Cola has partnered with OI, a glass recycling facility based in Ohio, to promote sustainable and cost-effective production, while also conserving energy and minimizing emissions. Sammy Holashutz, director at OI, underscored the importance of collective effort, stating, We require the collaboration of all stakeholders, our customers, other industries, and particularly consumers, to enhance glass recycling rates. For lots of folks, drinks just seem to taste better in Coca-Cola glass bottles. But after seeing how they're made, we all understand it's not just about the drink. It's also about the artistry, American culture, and a commitment to the environment. If you're curious about how other products are made, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Captain Discovery channel. Together, we can dive into more factory secrets and satisfy our curiosity. Don't forget to subscribe to Captain Discovery for more interesting journeys.